61-year-old Shubensov is not a doctor nor a hypnotist. So what is he? Well, he calls himself the eraser, claiming to return clients to their pre-smoking, pre-craving state of mind. So will it work? Well, that's what we'll find out. I have smoked for 41 years. <laughs> about a pack, pack and a half a day uh, for 22 years now. Uh, I smoke about two packs a day now. They enter this room united in one way. They are powerless over smoking, and they believe this man can unlock the secret to quitting. Number one. Unfortunately, I have a Russian accent. A heavy accent and the nickname, the Mad Russian. His real name is Yefim Shubensov, and he claims he can heal anything from obesity to drug addiction, even lovesickness, through the manipulation of bioenergy. You feel some sensation. Shubensov uses his hands to move that energy. To me, it felt like a warm wave passing over my hand. In this case, Shubensov takes away this man's back pain with some pretty good results. Yeah, um, lower back, neck. Okay, I'm just a pretty good. I use a touch. Okay. No. He wants to take all this uh, pain away from you, and it's almost like he takes it out and just throws it out the window. It's it's sort of weird the way he, he does all that, you know, like he removes his stuff for you. But these people are here to quit smoking. So how will moving energy accomplish that? We all was born without desire to smoke. So people start to smoke without pleasure. First thing, it, <coughs> you, you remember what is, mm, not mm, pleasure. Shubensov says he can change the energy in the brain to return it to its original condition, the condition before one started smoking. Sessions last two hours. During the first hour, the mad Russian says he cures aches, pains, and depression, and explains what he does. In the second hour, each person meets with him alone. No cameras allowed. I closed my eyes, and he made some noise, and that was it, really. It was really quick. The former Russian artist has been moving energy in Brookline for 22 years. He's seen more than 100,000 people from all over the world, including celebrities like Billy Joel, Courtney Cox, even Drew Barrymore. But will it work for the smokers in this group? This woman came all the way from Arizona. Nothing else has. This has to. It's my last chance. I don't know what's going to happen when I go behind the door, but... I also believe that, you know, if you believe it, it will be, so I'm trying to believe it. I have a friend who's been here uh, four years ago, and she's never smoked since, so I'm optimistic from that point of view. Now, we have tracked the smokers in that group since the session, so how are they doing? Well, we will tell you on Thursday night, and the results are pretty surprising, so stay tuned. Back to you, Jeff and Karen. Should be That's interesting. interesting. Yes, it is. Thank you, Chris. Looking forward to that. Last week, we videotaped Yefim Shubensov treating a group of smokers in his Brookline office. Now, many of these men and women have smoked for over 20 years, some more than two packs a day. So a week and a half later, how are they doing? Well, let's find out. He was an artist and a boxer back in Russia, but in the United States, 61-year-old Yefim Shubensov is a healer, better known as Brookline's Mad Russian. Shubensov says he manipulates bioenergy to return people to their pre-habit, pre-craving state. So has the Mad Russian ever puffed himself? Life sometimes shows good direction, sometimes bad direction. It's just good luck, nothing else. I just didn't start to the time because usually boys start to smoke. It's not because I'm so smart, no. So has he ever needed to be healed of a bad habit? Uh, I never ask. <laughs> <laughs> Never ask anybody to do this for me. So you're perfect. <laughs> no, I'm not perfect. I just don't complain. I don't like it. Shubansov is not a doctor nor a hypnotist, and he says that anyone can learn to do what he does. We wanted to learn why he's called the Mad Russian. I have zero diplomatic ability. He may not have diplomatic skills, but he definitely has something going for him. He's treated about 110,000 people, people who travel from all over the world to see him, including celebrities. The group met with him one week ago to quit smoking. So what happened? 
I smoke, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 years off and on, sometimes a pack, sometimes pack and a half, sometimes not at all for three years. Seems like I always went back for one excuse or another. Jim Adusi has not smoked in the past week. He says he's experienced some tough cravings, but that they don't last. I've tried the patch, I've tried the gum, I've tried hypnotist, and I've tried acupuncture. And I've tried them all and nothing has worked for me. Marge Watson traveled from Arizona to see the mad Russian. One week later, she's still not smoking. The craving's not nearly as bad as when she quit cold turkey. I smoked all the time when I was happy, when I was sad, when I was anxious, excited, having a good time, having a bad time. It didn't matter. I was always had a reason to smoke. But since January 29th, Jim Lintner hasn't found a reason to smoke. His wife also quit after seeing Shubensov. I don't know what's going to happen when I go behind the door. So far, what's happened? Well, no smoking. And Michelle Butler says her cravings pass quickly. I have a friend who's been here uh, four years ago, and she's never smoked since. So I'm optimistic from that point of view. But it's not a panacea for everyone. Michelle Jodevine says she lit up on the way home just minutes after the two-hour session ended. Now, five others in the group have also reported back to us that they are not smoking. So out of ten in our group, it has worked for nine people. Meanwhile, the mad Russian does not track his own success rate, but he says if someone relapses, he will treat them again for free. If you want to find out more about the mad Russian, log on to our website at WB56.com.